like Alexander, our acts and oh. Yeah, I'm going to start for the camera turn. I'm drooling. Alexander I was the fifth pope after Peter, a very learned man who is said to have studied under Pliny the Younger. Pliny was a lawyer, author, and magistrate of ancient Rome. Many of his works are still around today. During his time as pope, Alexander converted 1,250 people, including the governor Hermes. However, due to the Roman persecution and because of the mass conversions to Christianity at the time, Alexander and Hermes were sent to different prisons. This was when things really got started. Alexander then cured Carinus' daughter, Balbina, of a tumor on her neck. Carinus, Balbina, and many of the prisoners that were being... I'm sorry. Take it from the camera turn. Yeah. No, don't turn. Just stay at the camera. All right. Alexander then cured Carinus' daughter, Balbina, of a tumor on her neck. Carinus, Balbina, and many of the prisoners that were being helped under Carinus converted. When Aurelianus found out about the mass conversions, he had them all martyred. Carinus and Balbina are known formally as St. Balbina and St. Carinus of Nice. Pope Alexander died around the year 115 or 116. His remains are said to have been transferred to freezing in Bavaria in 834, and his feast day is May 3rd. Besides converting almost everyone he met, Pope Alexander also introduced the use of blessing water mixed with the salt for, for the purification of Christian homes for, from evil influences, as well as the custom of mixing water with the sacramental wine. We can learn from Pope Alexander that we are called to convert those around us. Like Alexander, our actions and words can have a huge impact on those present in our lives. And don't forget, Alexander never could have done any of those things without God's help. This has been Popes. I'm your host, Joe Gallagher. Watch Popes. Ow. Gosh, that kills. All right, Pete, go ahead and stop tape. I'm drooping. You're drooping. But when you smile, it goes away. Yeah, when I smile, it's like fine.